guys, April finally made it here in Virginia. Turkey season is here. Um, came out this morning. I've been seeing uh, some turkeys coming out in this field strutting early in the mornings. <clears throat> Set up a blind here yesterday just off the side of the field. And I'm hoping that they'll come through here. Oh, I just heard him gobble. Just gobble. I'm hoping he'll fly off and come out here and strut. I'm going to take him with my bow this morning. Got the TC calls. Um, hunting with the gray quarter tongue this morning. I'm going to try to lure that big tom into range. Hopefully smack him with my elbow. So Stick with us. Like I said, he just gobbled. That's the first gobble I heard this morning. So it's a good sign. It's a real, it's a real nice morning. It's warm, kind of overcast. Perfect. Crow just went off. He didn't gobble that time, but he's back there. I heard him. So. All right, we're gonna stick with it here. See what happens. All right, it's getting about time, guys. It's getting getting pretty light out and I'm sure that they've either flown down or getting ready to fly down any second. <clears throat> I've been seeing them come out in this field almost every morning for the last week and a half to two weeks. So I'm hoping that they'll follow suit and come out here again this morning. The crows have been hammering. I heard him gobble one time. He was pretty far behind me. But I'm hoping he's probably floating down by now and is making his way this way because this is a heck of a strut zone. It's right here. A little corner grassy field. It's bordered on two sides by by some thick hardwoods and that's where they're roosting at. So I'm using my TC diaphragm. Uh, I'm using the gray quarter tongue this morning. Uh, we'll try to give a few soft yelps here in just a second. Just let him know that we're here. Maybe he'll speed on up and come on out in the field. But uh, let's get our black back on. More black shirt, black face mask, black hat, so we can blend in with this blind. I'm hoping that we can get him close enough uh, to get a shot with my bow. So we'll see what happens. It's tough, especially with these eastern birds, man. They are spooky. I mean, there's they pretty much allow zero movement, and it's gonna be tough getting the bow drawn back. And, Working the camera, doing everything. I'm here filming myself this morning, so. There's a lot could go wrong, but I'm hoping there's something that'll go right when we lay this bird down with a big air sticking to him, so. Let's see what happens, guys, stick with us.
There he is. That's what you like to see. Feet up in the air. Big gobbler down, baby. I sat here and felt like for three hours, but he finally came in. We got an air in him. That's awesome. Well, the May for Killing team got it done this morning. Spring Gobbler 2012, baby. Right here. Gray quarter tongue. TC diaphragms. They definitely are made for killing right out there laying in the fields to proof. Call that big gobbler and he's got a rope on him. Caught him in, missed him with the first shot. He was just over a rise. I had pretty good camera, I had him in the camera, but the camera was just a little higher than I was. I didn't have near the shot that it looks like on the camera. I had just a little bit of him, but I thought he was leaving. So I was like, man, I better take a shot. And I guess I shot over him, but luckily, uh, he came back did a couple little soft calls. He worked his way back. They can't resist these TC's baby ah, Heck yeah, man. I'm excited, but Got him done with the old bow this morning uh, uh, I Love shotgun hunting. I've done it for years and years and I've, I've laid down a pile of turkeys with the shotgun But man it this year Especially since I'm using these TC's is like you can get them so close. I mean why take the shotgun? I mean I might have to start using a slingshot I mean, just to make it a little more fair for the turkeys, because I'm telling you people, when you walk into the woods with one of these in your mouth, something is going to die. They, exactly like our slogan says, they are made for killing. But, anyways, this bird's got a rope on him. It's a beautiful morning. Had the crows hammering. Uh, he gobbled one time off the roost and shut up. Man, those are the birds that I hate to hunt. But I love to kill. Is that right there? Those silent gobblers. They are tough. Um, you never know where they're at. They'll slip right up on you and you're not ready. And you can't locate them. I mean, you pull up to a spot and you have no idea if they're there or not. So that's a good one to kill right there. That's a tough old bird. A silent bird. He's been here a few years. So uh, glad to get him out. I, I love love killing those those silent birds, but I hate hunting them. I mean, it's tough. But this morning we got it done, baby. But uh, let's go out here, see what he looks like. Woo! Oh, well, just went out and got this old bird, man. And you talk about a gobbler now. This thing, he could be pushing four years old. Uh, it's got the biggest spurs of any gobbler I've ever killed. I mean, hands down. Hooks, wrap around, sharp. This thing is the real deal. I know his beard, it's gotta be over 11. I wouldn't doubt if it's not pushing 12. He has a rope. It's not real thick. Man, he's got a long beard. This is the kind of bird I love to kill. Like I said earlier, gobble one time right off the roost. That was it. I mean, this bird came in silent the entire morning. Uh, the hens were actually more vocal than he was. Um, the hens yelped at me and cut back at me a few times coming in when they were probably 100 yards off. So I knew they were coming. I just had to stick with it. I just kept giving a few soft little yelps. And man, here they come probably 20 minutes later. They're standing out here 30, 40 yards. So they actually fed right down in front of me and the gobbler I missed him on the first shot luckily with that bow I had no clue where I was my blind was right behind me I was well hidden in there had the black on um, had my face mask up I mean shoot I was I was as good as hidden they didn't know I was there but luckily I got down got laid down and got me another air got loaded up 
got the camera on him and got a got another shot on him so thankfully man this i am happy um size wise weight wise i don't think you know he, he might be pushing 20 pounds but i'd say it's where he's getting so old his beard is long and his spurs are long but uh i have to give all the credit this morning to the tc die friends man i was using the gray quarter tongue that call is sweet they can't resist it i'm telling you man these calls right here are made for killing right here's the proof uh, it's hard to get a turkey in especially these eastern turkeys i mean they're they're spooky birds it's hard to get them within bow range to be able to get a shot but these calls i mean it calms them down they they pretty much i mean they're, they're convinced there's a real turkey right on the other side of that so they're pretty calm they're not they're not as spooky as they would be uh, so could have shotgunned him don't need to these right here baby bring them into bow range but um i'm really excited uh it's first bird for the year so um, i'm pretty tickled with it he's he's a nice gobbler so let's get him out of here um Go check him in and uh, get some feathers off of him and enjoy some turkey tenders on the deep fryer tonight. Man, that's gonna be good stuff. So, all right, man, I'm gonna show you these show you these spurs before we go. Check that hook out. Now that is what you call a hook for here in the east. Look at that, man. These birds around here. It's hard to get them looking like that. Look at this beard. Now that is a beard. You can see the damage the old Rage Broadheads did to him. So, all in all, that's an awesome turkey. It's probably, like I said, probably my biggest turkey ever with that beard. I, like I said, I, the more I look at it, the more I think it's gonna go 12 inches. So, let's get him out of here. We'll measure it up. Go after another one tomorrow.